everybody i hope you're all doing fantastic you guys i'm doing fine uh thank you for clicking on this video today we are doing yet another skincare video and we are going to be talking about cleansers i want you to learn how to choose the right cleanser for your skin type and also how to tell if you are using the wrong cleanser so i hope this video is going to be uh, of help i hope you learned something and don't forget to like the video if you do and share all right so in case this is your first time my name is marcy and i make content about a lifestyle of a stay-at-home mom and skincare video so if that's something that interests you kindly join the gang gang <laughs> so without further ado let's just uh straight get into the video uh cleansers i realized that so many of us don't even know how to choose the right cleanser for our skin and actually if you use the wrong cleanser you're basically starting your whole skincare routine off on a wrong foot so it's very important to know how to choose the right cleanser and the some of the things that can guide you when it comes to choosing a cleanser is number one your skin type and that is what you're going to dwell on in this video uh, number two uh, what you are trying to accomplish and number three the products that are coming after cleansing those are the three criteria that you can use to choose a cleanser but for today we are going to focus on uh, skin types did you know that generally cleansers are not like an essential part of skincare uh, but they do play a major major role for people who wear makeup and uh, sunscreen especially mineral sunscreen because it's a bit hard to break down and so you do need a cleanser to to remove all the sunscreen and of course makeup so if you are not a person who wears makeup or you can actually just get away with cleaning your skin with water plain water lukewarm water <laughs> i didn't know that i learned that from dr dre and i think um yeah it, it's good to know that at times you can just get away with cleaning your face with plain water but please avoid soap <laughs> uh, and especially for those people who have dry skin because soap is very alkaline and as you know the ph of our skin is about uh, 4.5 to 6 so once you use soap which is very alkaline it's going to leave you feeling uh, or looking very dull also uh soap can be very drying because it has a substance called sodium laureth sulfate and it's the substance that helps the soap to lather but it leaves our skin very dry and especially if you have a dry skin already okay so let's first talk about uh, people with uh, dry skin if you have a dry skin you need to look for a cleanser number one that do not have harsh detergents like sodium laurel sulfate it is very very drying you can also look uh, for a cleanser that has added humectants or moisturizers when you're going to purchase a cleanser it's advised that you go for a non forming cleanser if you have a dry skin an example of a non-forming cleanser is um cerave hydrating cleanser so that is one example of a non-forming cleanser there are so many out there so you, when you're going to buy just look for a non-forming cleanser or a hydrating cleanser because your skin already is less on um like hydration so you need a moisturizer that is not stripping because you already don't have that much oil to be stripped <laughs> to begin with so you need a hydrating cleanser or an unforming cleanser on the other hand if you have an oily skin you need to look out for forming cleansers these ones help to remove the excess oil on your skin they also get rid of like uh, clogged pores sunscreen and makeup so non-forming cleanser for dry skin forming cleansers for oily skin for those of you who have oily acne prone skin you should focus 
on a cleanser that contains active ingredients either salicylic acid or benzoyl peroxide so this one can be effective because these, those ingredients help to cut down on oil they concentrate on the oil gland and they are able to get in there and unclog that pore they also help cut down on excess bacteria on the follicles that can contribute to acne flare we also have another category of people who have really sensitive skin they have um, acne, um, eczema, or allergic dry skin. So if you're in this bracket, you need to look for a soothing cleanser. It's also advised that you just wash your face like once a day if uh, you're in that category so that at least your moisture, I mean your skin barrier can be restored. So thin cleansers are non-forming and they may be rich in uh, things like antioxidants and probiotics. And they're generally ideal for anyone who wants to calm down the skin. In fact, also if you've gone like outside without sunscreen and your skin is peeling, you can also uh, uh, get yourself a soothing cleanser. But if your skin is just oily, these ones are not going to help you at all. Since they just cleanse the skin, but they do not remove the extra lipids. So if you have oily skin, this is not going to work for you. This is for someone who has a compromised skin or you just want to calm and soothe your skin. We also have another category of cleansers, which is the um, hydroxy acid cleansers. Uh, hydroxy acids include the AHAs and the BHAs. AHAs are the alpha hydroxy acids and the... Uh, examples like cholic, lactic, and mandelic acid, whereas the BHAs, they include salicylic acid. So AHA cleaners tend to do better with dry skin. Okay, so if you have a dry skin, you might go for a, an AHA cleanser, for instance, a lactic acid cleanser. BHAs, on the other hand, tend to do better for people with oily skin example include the salicylic acid cleansers that i've just talked about so if you have an oily skin you may go for the bha cleaners example salicylic acid cleansers and they're going to work very well for you but if you have super sensitive skin itching uh stinging eczema flare please keep off this hydroxy acid cleansers because it's just not good for your skin basically it is recommended to have two cleansers uh in your skincare routine <laughs> and personally guys i've not yet uh reached here by the way i'm still learning and discovering things so it's recommended that you have two cleansers one like for instance let's say you have a dry skin use a non-forming cleanser in the morning and then at night, use an AHA cleanser. If you have oily skin, use salicylic acid cleanser, cleanser in the morning and a foaming cleanser at night to remove all the sweat, oil, and dirt. So for double cleansing, I'm sure maybe some of you have heard about double cleansing. This one is only recommended when you like have heavy makeup or sunscreen. It's not something that you... You have to do every other night you know just do it when you have makeup and this is when you start with an oil-based cleanser and then or followed by a water-based cleanser and it's that simple so instead of um you know the best thing about oil-based cleanser when you have makeup they sort of help to mm, mm, melt down the uh heavy makeup and then once all the makeup is out, you go in with the water-based cleanser to just uh, clear any remaining makeup, dirt, and uh, sweat, etc. So now your skin is fully clean. When it comes to cleaning the face itself, um, number one, please use a dedicated face towel, okay? <laughs> Don't, uh, the towel that you're using for your face, don't use it on your body because... Did I just twang? <laughs> Don't use it on your body. Uh, 
This is to prevent cross -con contamination. When you're cleaning your face, take your time at least uh, 45 minutes, 45 seconds, sorry, to one minute, so that uh, the product that you're using will have sufficient time to like get inside the skin, get into your pores, and clog the pores and remove all the dirt uh, and the oil, so that the next step. Uh, will work better and once the face is well cleaned uh, the products that are coming next are going to be able to penetrate better at the same time be very careful not to overdo it because once you overdo you're going to mess up with the skin barrier in fact when you're wa washing your face uh if you have like a heavy hand you're not fighting with your skin no you're not scrubbing your skin you're just washing it is recommended you use just these two fingers to like rub uh the cleanser around because these ones these two are the weakest so once you use these at least the pressure that you're applying to your face uh it's not too much so don't overdo because you're going to mess up with your skin barrier and it's going to lead to dryness and if after cleansing the next step is uh, moisturizing don't over dry your face personally what i do that face towel that i've used to uh, clean my face i just pat dry and then that's it i'm ready now to apply the moisturizer Mo moisturizer actually work better on a damp skin okay so don't over dry your your face so here are some signs that you are using the wrong cleanser. Number one, if after cleansing your face, you feel some tightness, it's like your skin is very tight. You definitely are using the wrong cleanser for your skin. Number two is dry patches around your face. You clean your face and there are like some dry patches that look like uh, either midho. What's, what's the what, right word for either midho? <laughs> I'm not sure. So dry patches basically, just know you're using the wrong cleanser. So that's just it when it comes to choosing the right cleanser for your skin. Um, this is where it begins. You have to do this right so that the next step um, are going to be effective. You can imagine if you've not cleansed your face well and there is still some dirt and uh, makeup or sunscreen remaining, and then you, you have a very expensive, say, retinal serum that you're applying at night. But then there's this coat and the retinal can't penetrate. It's just a waste. So it's a very important step to just cleanse your face and to do it right. I hope you've learned something. I am still learning. I'm so excited by the way the information I'm getting. And I hope you have enjoyed the video. Please share with someone. Give us a like and if you're here specifically for skincare, check out our other skincare videos. They're going to be worth your while. Thank you for watching. Let me see you on my next one. Bye.